For $39.95, I wanted to find out whether or not we could actually get some good quality audio out of this sound card slash audio interface. Let's find out. Howdy guys, my name's Shane. This is episode two of Music Gear on a Budget. Today we're checking out the Euphoria UMC22 audio interface from Behringer. Last episode, we took a look at a $14 microphone that was actually really, really good. If you haven't seen that video, I'll pop it up in the cards and you can check it out. Let's see what's in the box. Just to let you know, on Amazon.com, there's actually a cheaper sound card than this from Behringer, but it's very, very limited in its functionality, which is why I chose this one. And we'll get to that as we get into the video. So I've had mixed experiences with Behringer gear over the years. I gotta say, some of their stuff is great, some of this stuff is not so great. So we're gonna take a look and see what's in the box. And we'll check out the actual unit itself as well. It's very well packed, I gotta say. Instructions. Oh, for a moment there, I didn't think there was actually a USB cable, but there is. Awesome. Here's the front of the unit. Now the first thing to note is all those little surface marks and scratches is just part of the plastic film that you peel off, which I haven't done just yet. So don't stress about that. I noticed all these scratches and I thought, oh no, that looks kind of crappy, but it's actually just, there's a film that I have to take off. So we have a mic and a line input over here so you can plug your favorite microphone in or you can plug a line in, very similar to this instrument two input over here as well. So if you've got an acoustic guitar or a bass or an electric guitar you wanna plug in, you can do that via here. These two preamps control both of these. So this one's the first one, this one's the second one. And we have a direct monitor as well, so we can listen to what we're recording in our headphones. If you plug that, or we'll push that button in. Over here we have an output volume, and I'm pretty much assuming this is gonna do both the headphones output as well as the actual line out on the back to the speakers or the speaker outputs here. So we have two speaker outputs. We have phantom power on and off for using condenser microphones, which is great. And we have the USB connection here. All right, as you can see, I also own a Steinberg UR22 MK2 audio interface. I love this little thing. I like it so much. I actually have two of these one on this computer, which is my PC, and one on my Mac in the other room. So just to put it into some sort of perspective size-wise, these are about identical in terms of width, except the Behringer one is much, much shorter lengthways. So you've got about an extra third on the Steinberg in terms of length. I also have a couple of extra USB cables ready to go, so I'll just plug this one in and hope for the best. Let's do a voice test now with this $600, actually, let's not use that. Let's use this. I got this off eBay a couple of years ago for $2. Let's see how it sounds. So to do this test, what I found out was the ASIO for all driver works really, really well. It's just a little bit of messing around if you haven't used it before. I might do a follow-up video on something like that. But what we're gonna do now is test out and see how this actual microphone sounds. What you're listening to right now is my shirt microphone. So I'm gonna switch over to this particular microphone right about now, and we can have a listen to this. So the microphone that you're listening to, I picked up for two bucks off eBay a couple of years ago, and this is a really great sounding microphone. And from what I can hear in my headphones, it sounds spectacular. I can hear lots of sibilance on the S, which you may or may not like. You can always adjust that in post, but the, the fact of the matter is, for a $2 microphone into a $39 sound card, this would sound better than this, or just as good as a Yeti microphone. Maybe not quite as simple to hook up, but I think the flexibility of giving you the options of using different microphones with an audio interface is much better than one USB microphone. Just my two cents, I own them both, they're both great, but I'm really liking what I'm hearing. Now, one of the really cool things on the front of this audio interface is when I talk, you can actually see the signal light come on and off. That's a really cool little touch. I like that a lot. And above it, we have the clip LED. So if I was to turn up the gain too loud, you're gonna see that it gets nasty in terms of audio, but we also get a red light. So that's good if you're recording 
and you don't have headphones and you see that red light flash, you simply walk over or move over to the audio interface and turn the gain down. So far though, I gotta say, I'm really happy with the audio quality, even with this cheap microphone. Let's now test it out with this budget $14 microphone. This is the Pile mic that I reviewed in the first episode of this particular series. We're also gonna use the cable that it comes with because odds are if you're just getting into this, this will most likely be the cable that you start with. So we'll see if it works. What you're about to hear now is the electric guitar being recorded with the $14 mic going into the Behringer UMC22. After having a quick listen back to the audio I just recorded, what have I learnt? I learnt that it works. <laughs> it sounds pretty much identical to what I'm used to when I record videos for the channel. So if you're looking to get into YouTube, something like this will definitely do the job. You don't need anything fancy. I mean, look what I'm using. I've got a Steinberg UR22 MK2, which essentially is very, very similar to this. It has a few extra options, but for 39 bucks, you're getting a good sound. My only suggestion if you're gonna go the cheap route is to buy a half decent microphone cable. The one that comes with that pile microphone works, as you heard, but I also noticed the input level was pretty low. And I did wanna max it out because the further you turn up preamps, the more noise inherently you get. But listening back to my voice, listening back to the electric guitar, it sounded great. With a better mic cable, you'll get even better results and you probably won't have to crank up the gain so far. Like I said at the start of the video, I actually went out and purchased this. Am I regretful of this purchase? Absolutely not. I think it sounds fine. If I was to use a better quality microphone into it, I'd get even nicer results. So overall, it gets a thumbs up from me. If you're on a budget, check out all the links in the description below. It'll take you through Amazon in the US. Overall, it's pretty cool. Let me know what you think. Thanks again for watching. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If it wasn't, give it a thumbs down. Leave some comments why, and I will catch you on the next video. See ya.